yeah that's the sound from Archer Dan that is called twerk it for me so we have Archer Dan right here on the line right here right now Archer Dan you there it's a pleasure to be here um Jake and Michelle uh and all the listeners out there just a pleasure yeah so let the people out there know who is Archer Dan yeah man well Archer Dan is a, is a uh, recording artist from the Caribbean um from um, actually St. Lucia to be exact um I do a, a mixture of music, a uh, fusion of dance or pop and some EDM as well. So um, Ashton is a recording artist um, looking to, 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 to get out there. Okay. So tell us then, what is it like growing up in St. Lucia for those who don't know? Uh, St. Lucia, beautiful place, nice island. If, you, if you're someone that into the beaches and the sightseeing and, uh, and all that that comes with it, then St. Lucia is the ideal place for you. know, just a beautiful place, blazing hot right now and you know, just summer all year round. Beautiful. Yeah, for real. So how did you get introduced to music? Yeah, well, uh, I got introduced to music by, I had a, um, well, I have an older brother um, who used to do music, he used to do a lot of stage shows in St. Lucia, so he's one of the popular DJs around. And growing up, yeah, I know I used to be around him a lot and he used to be DJing and doing that kind of stuff. So it was just a, a natural transition across. So he stopped doing it, I just take over and here I am. Yeah. <laughs> so you took his spot. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> okay. So how, how would you describe your music? Um, I look at it as a, a basically a fusion of, I would say, dance or with um, um, pop, um, electro pop to be exact. I try to fuse it and to get that kind of diversion in the music. I used to be more of a dance or a robot before, but like as time go by, I kind of leave. I kind of just, um, um, the music just progressed. And I guess music is just a transition. So as you get older, as you move along, just diversify it. Okay, and what, what made you go with um, those particular genres of music? Um, because I guess it was just a love. Uh, I, I naturally had the love for reggae music. Yeah. And um, after listening to a lot of um, guys like Cutty Ranks growing up, Super Cat and the whole mixture of stuff. And then once and then once the music changes and it evolves, you realize that you find yourself drawn to stuff like pop, electro music. And so since I'm a, I'm a, I'm a producer as well, I find it kind of easy to just kind of fuse them to because when you fuse them what you do is basically you tap into all the genres and all the cultures so I guess yeah. you don't leave anybody out so I guess that was basically the whole plan behind it okay okay so I know that you've shared the, the stage with so many different artists such as Jack Yor, Mr. Vegas Egyptian what what was that yeah. like for you? Yo, <laughs> yo, well, it was a beautiful thing uh, um, beautiful I mean I've, I've, I've been around most of the guys um most of the big shows they have, nobody will on there, and um, we sometimes we part of the headlines, some as we not. But um, it's beautiful. I get to meet a lot of different people, and um, one of my better experiences was actually meeting Monga. I can remember we used to be cool out backstage and we was having a long conversation, and just get to know everybody's kind of just like you, you know. Yeah. There's no difference. It's just about um, um, I guess just a name. For real. So. I understand. Tell us a little something about um, St. Lucia's Cable and Wireless's Star Quest. Tell us something about them. <laughs> oh, where you got this one from, though? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, that's message from there. Oh, yeah, well, well, um, there was a couple, maybe a decade back, um, there was this competition called some stick, it was a Cable Wire Star Quest search, and there was like, um, it was basically designed for slow tune singers, uh, um, gospel people, basically people who, who were more vocalists. And then I was there. I just said, no, let me just jump in there. I had a couple of um, guys who produced for me. Just tell me, no, take a shot and jump in there. Um, but I knew, I knew from the moment I got in there, then I, I would have probably um, um, changed the minds of the uh, judges and that kind of stuff. So it was, it was basically a slow tune event. Okay. I jumped in there being the only guy doing dance all that stuff, and I was able to win the. the there was a People's Choice Award, which I won, and I was in the finals and that kind of stuff. But it was never designed for dance all. They just kind of changed the criteria because I was on there. Oh, okay. So you mashed up the place, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I guess <laughs> I guess you could say that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So tell us a little something about your song, Legacies, and how did it come about? Oh, Legacies came about as a result of a death of my father who, uh, who passed away at that time. And, um, okay. So what I did was um, I linked up with another producer from um, the north part of the island, we call it Castries, and um, he taught me to read him across. I just voiced something on there, and I did a video, and next thing I knew, I was... I was actually performing everywhere with that track and then there was a couple at that time there was a station MTV I'm not sure if it's that popular as before but 
there was a, there was an MTV station called Tempo, and then I went on there with that track, and then we were we were um, we made it to the top ten, we were number three on the countdown for many weeks running, yeah. and then they came down to St. Lucia. We I, I headlined the show with them, and and it was just and from there, I guess that's where everything kind of took off. So okay, and then I understand that you then joined Carib Music Group in the USA. Yeah, Carib Music is a it's a United States based label. Um, um, I joined them about a couple of five years back, and um, since then, um, I was part of a compilation of some stuff. We actually won the best soca award, soca uh, compilation at the International Soca Music Award that year when I joined them. Okay. And one of, and the track I had on there was actually the most sold track on that compilation. So that was a good experience. That thing went very well. Yeah. Okay. And then you did a song called Tsunami. Yeah, we did a thing called Like Tsunami. Uh, okay. uh, and it was an album as well, um, a 17 track album that was released as well. Um, it's still available over, over iTunes, social media, and all that kind of platform, I think. But um, we also did a video um, with the, at, at the time, I think she was the Soka Mona of Anguilla, so we combined on that track and we did a, a remix to that. So that was a popular track as well. Yeah. And we named the album after that, like Tsunami. Okay. So that, that, that was nice. For real. So the listeners have just heard your song, Twerk It For Me? Yes. Tell us something. Twerk it for me. Yeah, yeah. Tell us something about that. Yeah, actually, this track, Twerk it for me. Um, we, we we did it in St. Lucia, like the voice in at Cedar Production Studios. But what happened is, um, um, I was traveling to London to do some um some music promotion with a couple of the guys and some and some st and some studio work. Um, in a place called Brixton, and then I went to a place called Walton Stove. So we and then in, in Ilford. Okay. So we are doing some work there, and then I met with this producer. They told me that boy this that he was a he was, he was high rated producer so we, I had him mix and master the track eh? we laid down a couple of vocals again on that um, just to buff it up a bit and then we had it um, released oh. so that was actually done in St. Lucia mixed in London and it was produced by a French producer called Maverick Pop okay so how do you go about writing your music do you freestyle it do you just write it down what do you do yeah well first of all if you if I get an instrumental it's easier with an instrumental but so you get the instrumental you vibe on it and you just catch something one time most of the songs that I have written normally when I get them I vibe on them maybe in a minute I would have something on them particularly I start off the chorus and then I branch out from there so um, if, if if an instrumental is sent to me by any producer and it takes me like an hour and I'm still on it most likely I'm just not feeling it I normally get something in about five minutes and I most times I finish the track in about 20 minutes there about I'm done writing so it's kind of easy Okay. And what would you say to young people who want to get involved in music? Uh, well, I can tell most of the young people get involved in music. It's about um, um, no matter how much talent you have, you still need a team. And if you don't have a team effort, you, you still won't go anywhere because because as much as you need a producer, you also need a manager, you need a uh, um, an advisor, you need a, a, a whole set of maybe an a and executive, you need a lot of different people handling different things because you alone will not have the time, you'll be trained down getting yeah. that done. And that's what I'm trying to assemble basically. Oh, okay. So what's next for yourself in music? Well, at present we're just doing the video for the track uh, which you played earlier called Twerk It For Me. Um, just getting the Sanush and Dance, set of Sanush and Dance group together to get that going. So okay. hopefully, so before the year end, you're gonna be seeing this one, the video out. Okay, that's great. Any any ideas on the date? Uh, well, we <laughs> we were looking at filming actually. We're supposed to have filmed this weekend, but um, I I got some setbacks with a death in the family and stuff. Okay. So we have it on daily, but the, but the the um the directors are still working on it. Um, so definitely before the Christmas, we're trying to see what we could get to get it out there because we've been doing a lot of work, a lot a lot of work behind the scenes, and also. I'm working on a like a 12-track album, which it's almost done basically. Um, we just we just working constantly working collabs with different artists, just just making it happen. For real. So could the listeners have a little flavour of yourself now? <laughs> yeah, man, no problem. Okay. It's the DJ Four Yeah. Yeah. You picking me up, yeah? Yeah, man, for real. Well, from a way back when, me say we better than them. We play the music, them can't comprehend. 
Them this Ashad and them in a problem, so we say way eh, 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 in Ashad and we bury day. Eh, 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 eh. So we are back way. Eh, eh. Watch it out. I tell them, so we are back before they me are back before they carry ban narrow walk before the Hiroshima bomb drop before they come caught me at the first stop. And when Mali they bomb on the weed and they plant the first seed, long time they yell a breed. I mean, they yell them need and them say them never leave. Oh, my God, they don't be at them creed from my way back way. Wait, that is enough. Yeah. It's got Yeah, thank you, thank you. So, any any but, final thoughts for the listeners out there? Yeah, well, um. Um, I just want to say um, shout out to um, DJ Stevie Q and um, Conscious Lady and um, for just making it happen well today on the radio, especially at, at, the, at short notice. Yeah. Um, everything just, just fine, just big up to everybody who's been supporting me back home and um, just beautiful. Yeah, big respect. Where can people follow you as well and find out your music and so on? Well, you can follow me basically on uh, all the social media platforms. You can check out my website, www.ashadan.com, A-S-C-H-A-D-A-N. You could also check me on um, um, Facebook, Ashadan, A-S-C-H-A-D-A-N, YouTube, Ashadan, A-S-C-H-A-D-A-N as well. And basically all the social media platforms are there. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to say thank you for locking in. I really do appreciate it. All right. No problem. It's a pleasure being here, man. Pleasure no as usual. No worries. Have a good day. Alright, be safe. Yeah. Alright then, bless. Bye. Alright. Bye. Bye.